As coal in the furnace, the Lord put his chosen to the test. As sacrificial offerings, he took himself, and in time they will be honored, and grace and peace will be with the elect of God. We offer this morning's Eucharist for the departed souls of Eugene Ong, Thea Sung, Oloshis Chong, Martin Tung. Mr. and Mrs. O Topun, Anthony Das, Francis Kali, Joseph Chai, Agnes Pong, Arukya Mary, and for the souls in purgatory. We pray for the special intentions of Rodney Gomez, Aloysius and Regina Mirinda, Ko and Chong family, Beggy Basbat and family, Isaac Zander Pereira, Anthony Chow, and Monica Yap and family. In thanksgiving offered by Sally Sue and by Alice and Anthony. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. We celebrate today the memorial of St. Charles Luanga and companions, fathers of the missionaries of the Africans. And as we pray for the intentions of this morning's Mass, let us prepare our hearts and minds by acknowledging our human weakness and seeking God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you who made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, mercifully grant that the field with which your church, watered by the blood, shed by Charles Luanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield in abundance of harvest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Tobit. Raphael and Tobit entered Media and had nearly reached at Batana when Raphael said to the boy, Brother Tobias, yes, he answered. The angel went on, 
Tonight we shall be staying with Ragel, who is a kinsman of yours. He has a daughter called Sarah. As they entered Ekbatana, Tobias said, Brother Azarias, take me at once to our brother Ragel's. And he showed him the way to the house of Ragel, whom they found sitting beside his courtyard door. They greeted him first, and he replied, Welcome and greeting, brothers. And he took them into his house. Ragel killed a sheep from the flock, and he and his wife Edna gave them a warm-hearted welcome. They washed and bathed and sat down to table. Then Tobias said to Raphael, Brother Azarius, will you ask Ragel to give me my sister Sarah? Ragel overheard the words and said to the young man, Eat and drink and make the most of your evening. No one else has the right to take my daughter Sarah. No one but you, my brother. In any case, I, for my own part, am not at liberty to give her to anyone else, since you are her next of kin. However, my boy, I must be frank with you. I have tried to find a husband for her seven times among our kinsmen, and all of them have died during the first evening on going to her room. But for the present, my boy, eat and drink. The Lord will grant you his grace and peace. Tobias spoke out, I will not hear of eating and drinking till you have come to a decision about me. Ragel answered, Very well. Since, as prescribed by the book of Moses, she is given to you. Heaven itself decrees she shall be yours. I therefore entrust your sister to you. From now on, you are her brother, and she is your sister. She is given to you from today forever. The Lord of heaven favor you tonight, my child, and grant you his grace and peace. Ragel called for his daughter Sarah, took her by the hand, and gave her to Tobias with these words. I entrust her to you. The law and the ruling recorded in the book of Moses assign her to you as your wife. Take her. Take her home to your father's house with a good conscience. The God of heaven grant you a good journey in peace. Then he turned to her mother and asked her to fetch him writing paper. He drew up the marriage contract how he gave his daughter as bride to Tobias according to the ordinance in the law of Moses. After this, they began to eat and drink. The parents, meanwhile, had gone out and shut the door behind them. Tobias said to Sarah, Get up, my sister. You and I must pray and petition our Lord to win his grace and his protection. She stood up, and they began praying for protection, and this was how he began. You are blessed, O God of our fathers. Blessed too is your name, forever and ever. Let the heavens bless you, and all things you have made forevermore. It was you who created Adam, you who created Eve, his wife, to be his help and support. And from these two, the human race was born. It was you who said, It is not good that the man should be alone. Let us make him a helmet like himself. And so, I do not take my sister for any lustful motive. I do it in singleness of heart. Be kind enough to have pity on her and on me, and bring us to old age together. And together they said, Amen, Amen, and lay down for the night. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. You will be happy and prosper. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house. Your children like shoots of the olive around your table. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. You have the message of eternal life. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, you, O Lord. One of the scribes came up to Jesus and put a question to him, which is the first of all the commandments. Jesus replied, This is the first. Listen, Israel, the Lord our God is the one Lord. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. You must love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well spoken, Master, what you have said is true, that he is one and there is no other. To love him with all your heart, with all your understanding and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. This is far more important than any holocaust or sacrifice. Jesus, seeing how wisely he had spoken, said, you are not far from the kingdom of God. And after that, no one dared to question him anymore. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are still in the midst of deepening our reflection on the Trinity, the Trinitarian love of God in the Father, the Son, and, and the Spirit. And we begin to dwell how deep this love of God overflows in our lives and in the lives of humanity and every one of us, the outpouring of God's love. And so today we, we continue in the drama series of the Book of Tobit, it's a very interesting story. If you, if you find the time to read the book of Tobit, you will see this series of life that is unfolding in the book of Tobit. And today we speak about marriage. We speak of the great love of Tobias or Tobiah and Sarah, the love of these two wonderful people. It starts off with the father of Sarah, Raquel who makes this formal proposal, who makes this initial stage of uncovering the need for Sarah to have a husband. And so the dialogue is taking place of this proposal, this arrangement between the father, Raquel, and Tobias. And as this moment is taking place, they enter into this beautiful dialogue of finding God in the midst of this 
covenantal love, of finding God's will in this relationship of marriage. And there's one beautiful line that I invite you to stay with in this morning's reading. Raquel looked at Tobias and said this, this marriage, this proposal, is written in heaven. It is in the book of Moses of marriage. But this proposal, this marriage, is well written from above. It's in heaven written. And that's why sometimes at marriages and weddings, I tell couples, even before you utter the word, I do, to one another, the finger of God was already there at the very initial stage of your meeting. To, to have the grace to see how God was already at work in the very initial stage of your love. God was already at work. It was written in the heavens. The capacity to see God's presence at the very beginning of the departure of your love life. And that is what Raquel said. And he said to Tobias, take Sarah to be your wife. And so they entered into this marriage. And what is beautiful is, the second part of this beautiful book is that as they are entering this banquet and celebrating this marriage and enjoying the whole experience of friends and people around, and when it came to the evening of the day, when it was night, and before they called it a night, Tobias said to his wife, I think we should pray to God now. We should offer a thanksgiving to God and place ourselves under the protection of God. And Sarah cried out. You will find the litany of that prayer in today's reading. Stanza word after word of how they have abandoned themselves into the ways of God. How they have placed themselves asking God's protection, blessings and endowment till the very end of their life. They place themselves at God's love and mercy. And that is the responsible psalm. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who place themselves at the hands of the Lord, who walk in the path of the Lord. Everything is in God. Beautiful. It sounds like I'm giving a wedding homily. Everything that we do is in God's hands. That brings us, my dear friend, to the gospel. The twofold commandment of love. The twofold commandment of God. To love God with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our being, with all our strength. Everything that encapsulates us is to love God. And secondly is to find that love with one another. Love of God, love of others. Love of God, love one another. When we are able to find the love of God who is love and God is love, the overflowing of that love is into others. It just flows into others. Because the very nature of God is love. And that very nature of God flows into others. The very essence of God is love. And that form of God's love in the Trinity takes its expression in one another. Let us take a moment this morning to pray for all married couples. Take a moment to reflect in our relationships with one another. Do we shape, do we govern, do we mold our relationships with love? For the very essence of God is to love and to love one another. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which it is given in human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, 
to your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Through the wine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you in sacrifice, Lord, and we humbly pray that as you granted the blessed martyrs Charles Luanga and companions, the grace to die rather than to sin, so that you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and saints, we declare your glory, and with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. In giving you thanks, Father, he broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Sebastian our Bishop and all the clergy. 
Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Charles Luanga and companions, Saint Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we pray. Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the fate of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We we'll take a moment to offer that peace to one another. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. How precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his holy ones. Thank you. 
Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs, Charles Rwanga and companions. May what help them to endure torment, we pray. Make us to face our daily trials, steadfast in faith and in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, I just invite you to continue to pray for the repose soul of Arakia Mary, for the members of her family. We will celebrate the funeral this afternoon at 2 p.m. May her soul rest in peace. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Pray for all. God, our merciful Father, source of healing, cast the light of health and well-being on those who have been exposed to coronavirus, those who have contracted the disease. Bless them, protect them, and bring them speedily to full recovery. Source of life, grant public health and government officials the strength to act swiftly and decisively with compassion and understanding in service to humankind, fighting this outbreak, threatening the lives of our brothers and sisters, Nations, nations and communities, young, young and old. God, God of the, the present moment, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, through the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary. Amen. Have a blessed day and do stay safe. Same to you, Father. Same to you, Father.